Okay, so this is Sarah, who is probably very tired because she's just finished <laughs> the startup course of Katie at the Train Academy. Um, so Sarah, today we focused on it was lips, wasn't it? Was lips, and we had a today. and um, obviously you've been here for the, the whole week. And how, how did you find sort of doing lips for the first time? I actually really, really enjoyed lips. I think it's quite a long um, procedure. Yeah. Um, depending because you're putting so much pigment into the lips, but I, I think, I think I'm going to really like doing lips. Yeah. Lips and eyebrows, I feel eyebrows a lot but lips I think I'm going to really enjoy they're going to be my second choice really brilliant because second favourite yeah. and what was the sort of client's reaction as well how did she find them well, it was a um, brand new client wasn't it it was a brand new client and um, obviously, obviously Katie um, did most of the procedure but I did get involved in putting a couple of passes through and doing the lip liner um, and she was really, really pleased with the results. Really? So that's great, yeah. She seemed to think you did really well as well, the client, did she? Fantastic. She fantastic. Very happy. Excellent. So um, you've obviously finished up the whole course now. And um, actually, just going back to the beginning, I know like there's a particular reason why you sort of decided to train in permanent makeup, was there? Yes. Not only have I always really loved it, but yeah. um, a while back I was... Um, had um, a really, really life-threatening operation. I had open heart surgery, a double heart bypass. Thought I was really healthy. Really? Um, yeah, just out running. Thought I was really healthy. I had this little pain, and to cut an extremely long story short, that I just went in for an, a specific test, and they um, said that my archery to my heart, my main archery was 99.9% .9 blocked, and really I should have been dead. I should wow. have been walking around. So I kept thinking, well, I've been given a second chance, not my time to go. So I really need to get myself into gear and do something I really love. And it has taken me sort of 18 months to feel healthy again and get back. And that's why I, I decided to, to give up the rat race of sales. So, and all the stresses that go with that. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not saying that um, semi-permanent or permanent makeup won't have its own stresses but I think they'll be, they'll be my stresses for my own business and not yeah. for somebody else's well, yeah. for somebody else's business so that that I can I can cope with that Brilliant. and you've always been very successful in previous businesses and obviously making yeah. money for other people absolutely on a salary and not really getting paid what I probably do deserve I'm sure there have so, been a few long hours and long days and there will be but again it's for myself so I, yeah. I just feel that it's it, when you're doing it for yourself it, you've got that extra kind of buzz and, and you want do that really excellent brilliant well well done for finishing up on the course Thank and uh, I know you're you're tired and but you've got clients but you've got 15 people already so I've lined got up. 15 um case studies um just went overboard slightly with them yeah. purely because I know that some people will back out yeah um and I'm meant to be actually doing um one of my clients um case studies on Saturday wow so a day to recover so get tomorrow back tomorrow to do the 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 testing and patch then testing patch yeah. test 12 hours then she comes she's going to have a browse and I've just got to throw myself into it because I've had a bit of a meltdown yeah as a lot of people do yeah and they come in on the yeah. last why was that actually because a lot of people come in on the last day and then they've been so excited for three days and then they realise hang on tomorrow I've got to go out and turn this into my business yeah is that I know. a similar I thing think, I, I don't even think it was about turning it into my business I think I kept doubting myself thinking am I good enough and listening to everybody else's successes that have trained with Katie I kind of perhaps um had this kind of misperception that maybe I wasn't really good enough but I won't know until I go out and do it and I've got to go and that's do the thing it. and I think everyone's got a bit of self doubts as well yeah. and what you've got to remember I suppose is the reason why you're doing it and the reason why you yeah. decided to do yeah, it absolutely. and at the end of the day what doesn't sort of kill you makes you stronger yeah. and uh, you know and you've had that second chance and now you really have got a chance to go out and do it for yourself yeah. and I think also I'm not going to put any pressure on myself I don't know about other people coming into this business but I don't really want to think, oh my God, I've got to go out there and get loads of clients and be busy from nine till five because that isn't why I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm doing it because I want to alleviate that kind of pressure of long hours, but also do it and really enjoy for someone to say, like the client this afternoon, say, she's really pleased and... Yeah. It's, you know, made a difference to their lives as well as mine. So. And not only that, but the client, she enjoyed it so much, she's booked, now booked in for eyes as well. And she was to book in. And she asked when I was coming back so I could actually be involved in the eyes. There we go. I told it won't be for a little while. Well, that's always a good sign, isn't it? Brilliant. And well, well done for, for everything. Thank and um, we wish you all the best for the future. And, Thank you, you know, very we're going to be in much. contact all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And um, if we can help you in any way, then. Um, 
You know yeah, and do, if I can just finalise it by saying a huge thank you to Katie because there were doubts and there were times I got a bit tearful and <laughs> yeah. a little bit emotional. Um, and um, she was there really to kind of be my crutch really and pull yeah. me out. Do you, f- makes people want to cry now, <laughs> do, do you feel like actually just going back on that, do you feel like if you were in a sort of a group scenario with other people, do you feel like you would you, the experience would be a lot different? Um, I don't know, but I would imagine it, it, it's blatantly obvious she probably wouldn't get that support from another trainer because she's she or he are yeah. dividing themselves between a class full of people who probably have similar doubts and maybe a, a little bit um, quieter or a bit shyer and don't want to voice that in front of their other yeah. their other uh, the other people training and also I suppose because you come from a non-beauty background yeah. which a lot of our students do um, then there's that side of things as well and sometimes the, the sort of more dominant people that have been in the industry yeah and the, the, I don't want to call it the know-it-alls but they are more knowledgeable than yeah. yourself and they're, they're up front and saying all their things and um, you do take a step back because you think well they must know because they've been in the business yeah when, albeit maybe not in permanent makeup but yeah. certainly in the beauty industry yeah which can be a little bit of a catty kind of yeah well for, everyone's been in hairdressers yeah. and seen the yeah, odd yeah, argument were, exactly. <laughs> yeah. they're going to become my best friends though excellent brilliant well we look forward to get, seeing how you're getting on Thank and seeing you. the results of your clients yeah. and all their sort of comments and that as well and it's yeah, been great absolutely. great having you here and we Thank obviously you. look forward to working with you in the future and helping you, you out um, in whatever way we can yeah absolutely I look brilliant. forward to that too excellent. Thank you, Paul. cheers Sarah have a good trip back as well Thank you. Thank cheers you.